What's up everyone, DefyNewYork.com here with a brand new video. Um, it's been a while and um, I know a few videos back I promised that I'd start showing you guys some stuff that, uh, that I dug up out of an old uh, sneaker store. And this is one of the shoes. This is a pair of Carl Kanai boots from the early, early 90s. I want to say, if I had to guess, I'd say around between 92 to 94. And with Carl Kanai making a comeback for this year, um, I figured this was the perfect time to uh, do a video on them. So let me show you guys these. So right away, you got the original Carl Kanai uh, tag. It's no longer attached to the boots. Show you guys the back. And see they're still in the wrapping paper. And here they are. This is the uh, Carl Kanai, the plaque boots. This is very, uh, Hear that? It's got a plaque right there, and there's a small plaque right here on the uh, on the toe. These were absolutely sick then, and they're absolutely sick now. Um, I was looking for my size, and I could not find them, uh, so I just I, I snatched these up, and they've held up very very well uh, for a 20 plus year old pair of boots. So, um, if you're looking for these, um, I, I really can't give you any advice on sizing because, I mean, they're, they're, I mean, I tried on one boot and it seems as though they'd fit probably true to size. So, if you want my opinion, I'd say go with your true to size. Whatever you would wear and, uh, you know, a pair of Timberlands, pick up in these. Uh, but as far as, I, I haven't actually found my size so I'm just going off this is I usually wear uh, 11 and a half in Timberlands and these are a, uh, a size 9 <laughs> so just to give you an idea these are very very tight on me um, so I mean based on you know what I could squeeze uh, in this boot right here I'm just gonna stick with uh, true to size but I really don't know um, so as far as picking out your size, that's the best advice I can give you for these. Um, what I thought was kind of interesting is you notice they have a, it says Carl Kanai on the bottom, kind of like reminded me of Vibram, the Carl Kanai version. It's got Carl Kanai on the inside. And now back in the day, these were, these were this was a big boot. Uh, at least in New York. I don't know about the rest of the country because I didn't live in, in the rest of the country. But in New York, this was definitely a big boot. I mean, Timberlands, they were always popular. But I remember a lot of people wearing this this boot. And uh, the all-around quality is uh, is pretty nice. It actually says they made a, a, it's a genuine, genuine leather upper balanced with man-made materials. So um, it seems like the upper is made of... Uh, genuine leather it's it's actually nice really nice leather on the upper and uh feels kind of soft which is really 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 nice show you guys these together now unfortunately once again it's not my size so i can't show you guys what they look like on feet but i mean they're just a sick sick poop and with Carl Kanai coming back, I would not be surprised to see um, him bring back this particular boot. Uh, I think, was it uh, Pete Rock? I think it was Pete Rock and CL Smooth did a few print advertisements for this boot. I know they did some print advertisements for some other stuff too, but I'm pretty sure they did it for this boot as well. Um, I'm not sure if Tupac wore these. I don't, I don't remember if he wore them, but... Um, this was just such a such a big boo and it feels such good quality. I can't I can't stress that enough. I hope if they do come back 
they feel like this because I'm gonna tell you this is a, a heavy um, quality boot and uh, the leather is nice and soft the uh, plaque is nice and you know it's, it's a it's a hard metal plaque it's not plastic a cheap plastic so let's see if I can give you guys a close-up of that and uh, it's just all around it's a very nice release and if you can get your hands on it I recommend you picking them up and uh, I'm still gonna be on the hunt for my size actually I dug up a kid's pair, an infant size. It was around here. I don't know where it is. Okay, here it is. This is an infant pair. And actually, I dug up two pairs. I have another pair. It's not here right now, but just to give you an idea. And I like how they just paid so much attention to the detail for the for the infants pair. And it has uh, 523-1968 on the plaque, which is also metal. It's not plastic. And the same thing on the uh, the tongue, which is great. So you see that? Got the little kids pair. Got the men's pair. It's just it's it's dope. So, anyhow, uh, let me know what you guys think about these. Feel free to drop me a comment uh, in the box below. If you uh, if you remember these, if you don't remember these, what do you think of them? Um, do you hope that uh, Carl Kanai is going to bring them back? Um, so, make sure to drop a comment in the box below. I got some more um, videos coming up of some shoes that are pretty, pretty... Uh, they haven't been seen too much. <laughs> um, but anyway... Drop a comment in the box below and stay tuned for more videos.